Hey guys, my name is Dustin from Utah. If you're pulling a trailer with your XC90 Volvo, you're gonna need trailer wiring. It's required by law. So go, let's go ahead and break that down for you. You will need the tools seen here to complete your installation. So where we're gonna be connecting your wiring is behind the tail lights on the passenger and driver's side of the vehicle. So first we're gonna remove the back covering to get to where we can install the wire. Okay, we're gonna to wanna to start with removing the floor covering and then the side piece. It is a little covered by this piece. You can pry this piece out and go from this side, but I'm just gonna go from right here and pop it out. So what we're first gonna to wanna to do is take your wiring, slide it down into here and then slide it back up and through so we can tie our running lights and left turn signal in. So we're gonna take the red and green wire and take it to the passenger side. To hide the wire better, I'm going to remove the battery housing so I can hide the wire back behind it, which is a 13 millimeter. We have a screw here, here, and here. So you'll have a metal bracket that's on top and then a plastic battery shield. Remove both those. Now you can take your wire and get it behind the battery and slide it through on the other side. So we're gonna put our ground wire up in here. I'm gonna use a quarter inch socket to ground it up. And it's a self-tapping screw. Now we're gonna connect our power wire to the fuse box, which it connects in right here. And I'm gonna be using a 10 millimeter socket to do it. And then we're gonna to wanna to make sure our fuse is already plugged in. We're gonna to wanna to take our four flat wiring, slide it back through the same spot that we put our green and red wire. Now that we've got the wire pulled through, there's two options we can do. One, we can leave it in the storage bay, or two, we can run it on the outside of the vehicle. So when we leave it in the storage bay, we're gonna run it out, make sure it's covered by the weather stripping, shut the tailgate on it, and you're ready to pull your trailer. Or there's, on the outside of the vehicle, we can run it through the rubber grommet to hook it on the underside of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and show you how to do that one right now. So the rubber grommet is right here. We're gonna wanna pull this out. and fish our wire through. Okay, let's go ahead and cut our rubber grommet. I'm gonna use a set of 10 snips and I'm gonna cut right here. That gives me enough to put it so I can put the wiring in and put it all back together. Now that it's all back in, we're gonna put our black silicone on it. Just wanna put a little bit around it and on the hole that we cut. Now that we've got our wiring all ran, we can put the car back together.
driver's side compartment back together. And the passenger side is the exact same way. Now that we got the wiring on the outside of the car, if you just leave it like this, it's dangling, it doesn't look good, you can tear it off. So we're gonna put a mounting bracket on it. And we're gonna install this one right here. So what we're first gonna do is drill the back hole. Now that we got our hole drilled, we're gonna put our screw in place to line it up so we can keep it straight to put the next hole in. And now we're gonna put the bolt through the top. Now we're gonna tighten them up using a 10 millimeter socket. And then we'll put our wiring in. With this bracket, we're just gonna push it through, pull it tight, and you're all good to go. Hey, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there and have fun. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video or would like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaul.com.